Hello everyone, it is me, Brittany. I'm back again for another video. My face is looking a bit wild, but I actually just did a makeup tutorial on this look. I'll call it a makeup tutorial, but it's also like a first timer video as well because I am wearing false lashes and I tried my top eyeliner, black eyeliner thing for the first time on camera. So if I'm looking a bit crazy, you're in it to watch my crazy faces video. I'm in love with the earrings I'm wearing. Don't ask me where I got them from. I got them from my sister like years ago. Like, <laughs> I must have been like 14. <laughs> and so that was like six years ago. And I don't remember much from then. But no, this video is just gonna be a nice, easy, quick video just because I'm in the mood and all that. I have wanted to do like a tattoos and piercings type video just to talk about what piercings and tattoos I have or had and what ones I'm hoping to get in the future. Just because, I don't know, that's an interest of mine. But no, so I am going to be talking about tattoos and piercings. So, I will just jump straight in. Also, with saying, don't forget, uh, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel, please. I make new videos every Tuesday. So, I'll start off with piercings. That is always, I don't know, a fun topic. I'll talk about what piercings I've had. I... Oh, how many in total have I had? So I've had 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11. I've had 11 piercings total. So I've had 4 each on my ears. So I have had, well, okay, I'll say what I got now and then what I had. So I have all, like, I have 3 piercings in the lobe area. So 1, 2, 3. I, the middle one of the 3 gets a bit funny sometimes like I'll put in a piercing and it'll swell up and like be all weird and then I'll take my piercings out for like ages like months and then I'll chuck it back in and then I'll like squeeze it back in kind of like re not re-piercing it or anything of that but like it'll be hard to get back in and then it'll get all puffy and stuff again and really sore and it's just an odd hole it's really weird like please heal yourself I've been trying to look after you but yeah so but the third one and my normal first lobe seems to be fine. So I just have those three on both ears just down the bottom but I did have two, what is it, a helix? Helix piercings like the one up here. I had each done until I started sleeping on my ears funny and then like it would keep getting irritated so I had to kind of take them out. I do miss them but I stupidly got them done with a gun like these ones I had with a gun and oh, like when Trends used to be like, a store called Trends that was in Dunedin I got these done and they had like those single use like gun type ones so like I suppose that was like it was completely 100% sterile which is good <laughs> but it was still like a gun type so it really destroys the tissue as I know <laughs> with more knowledge nowadays so I've always had a bump on the end of my ear. I don't know if you'll be able to see. Maybe I'll zoom in on the thing, but like I got a wee bump. Once I like feel, I don't know, the tissue, it, you can feel a lump and how it's like destroyed basically <laughs> because of like the force and everything, which is a bit unfortunate. The annoying thing is that I can't even like wear piercings often and I usually forget to put them in. I luckily remember just to chuck in some for today's videos but like for work like they don't allow piercings at all so like which is fair but yeah so that's all about my ears and I've had my nose pierced twice I sneakily wore like I had my nose pierced because I had my ears pierced around like the age of 13 14 and then like when I was like getting 15 16 I got my nose done and it was hard like it was easy to hide for school but, and then I started working, wearing it, and then they didn't really like me wearing it. So I took it out, and then I seen other people wearing piercings again, so I got it redone. And then I just take it again for work reasons. I do really like my nose pierced though. But, rules of rules basically. So I got two more piercings, I got my belly button pierced. I got it probably pierced around like three years ago, so like when I was like 17. Um, that was my most painful piercing. That's true. I should talk about pain tolerances too. So like my belly piercing was the most painful like oh, I just remember I woke up one morning. I was like I'm gonna get my belly button pierced. So I went to 
I think it was Black Sheep Studio. It was in town, um, not in town, it was in South Dunedin at the time. Went in, we had a purse, man. That was painful, oh my goodness. <laughs> like that was like a 9 out of 10 pain for me. And then the next one I got, well the last piercing I got actually was my nipple piercing, which honestly didn't have that bad. It was just the one, I remember that was also spontaneous, so I was on the way to the dentist, I was early, just popped in and was like, hey, yeah, can't get this. It was a really awkward experience, like I'm an anxious person, I'm surprised I even managed to do that. But you know, the initial piercing didn't hurt, but it's the afterwards, so like, this is the only person I experienced like burning sensations for like, oh man, for like an hour. <laughs> like, so I was at the dentist with like a burning nipple, it was, but like, see, that's a surface piercing. So like, my belly and my nipple was both surface piercings, and surface piercings have more risks of like rejecting and migrating, so rejecting and migrating. Migrating means like you get it pierced like this, but it could migrate like, I don't know, your belly could migrate the piercing that way, that way, it could just move basically. And rejection is your body is like, no, get out of my, like, you know, probably thinks it's like a toxic thing in my body, so I was trying to push it out. That's kind of what happened with my nipple piercing, just to go into detail there. Um, TMI, but my nipple piercing I had done, I loved it. So I had it, and then after months, you know, I cleaned it really well. I started forming a hole, like, so this is the bar, and a hole started coming through the middle of my nipple, and I was like, oh my goodness, so I had to take it out and sayonara to that nipple bar. That was really upsetting. I wish, like, yeah, so yeah, my body didn't like that, but thankfully my belly piercing is a-okay. <laughs> but that is my piercing. So my ears, obviously, I'll say that was like a... Two to three out of ten pain wise. My nose, the first time I didn't think it was that bad, it was like a three out of ten, but then the second time I got it, it felt like a seven or an eight out of ten pain. Like, man, that kind of like really hurt. Yeah, so that is my piercings. Now to go on to tattoos. So I have a total of, I had to count every time, it's not like I have heaps. Six tattoos, yes. So I've got a thigh one, a finger one with this nice arrow <laughs> that is like. Faded, but I'm not going to touch that up. This one was one of my most painful tattoos. It's really sore, but I don't mind it being faded or anything. I have one behind the ear. Show you on camera if I can. Like, I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if that was the right angle or not, but I'll probably insert pictures. So, this is my finger tattoo. Behind the ear tattoo. My behind the ear tattoo was one of my least painful ones. Um, the pain tolerance for that, like, honestly, I was just sitting there like, oh yeah, wow. Because I was... I went and got these two done together, but to go in order, I should really start talking about my forearm. So this is my forearm, I don't, I'll insert a picture. That was my first tattoo, it was quite spontaneous. I designed half of it myself, and I went to a place called Candy Stripes Tattoo. I do regret going to that place, but like a friend recommended it to me, and I went and like, the, as time goes on, I keep seeing like, imperfections with it but it's fine like I still love it and then the next tattoo I got I'm pretty sure was my what do you call this sternum under boob tattoo I don't know I'll see if I can show you it without showing anything inappropriate there we go so that is the sternum one that one was one of the most painful tattoos for me not the most painful, but one of the most painful tattoos. Like, I love it. I remember, so I went to Disney and Art for this one. I'm pretty sure I've seen and went with Tash. Um, I remember gripping, I, I shit you not, I was gripping onto my top the whole time. It was like an hour and a half. And I was going like, like dying inside. No breaks, because I didn't want to like stop and then have to go through the pain again. I just wanted it over and done with. I still remember when she went and grabbed some white to chuck in it and I was like, no, what are you doing? I don't want white. I, I thought, you know, I was too scared to even open my mouth. <laughs> so just went with the pain. So that one was pretty bad, but I do love it. I love that tattoo. And then the next one I got was these two. So the arrow on my finger and behind the ear. It was like a, I went and got the one behind my ear and then we had extra time. So he said I could do one on my finger. And that was Candy Stripes tattoo. Again, I am trying to have like a, flower theme going, flower and animal theme, because those are like two of my like, I don't know, main interests, is that the right word? <laughs> that's what that's what I like. None of my tattoos really have any meaning. They don't need to have any meaning. 
But if you do have tattoos that many, that is amazing. That makes them even better to have on your body. Your body's a canvas, so you can do what you like. I know, you know, some people don't like tattoos, and that's perfectly fine. I'm one of those people that quite like tattoos. So the next one was my thigh tattoo. I'll insert pictures just because I don't want to try and show you my thigh. But that was the wolf one. It wasn't actually completely finished. I So it was supposed to be a seven hour session on my thigh. I went for five excruciating pain, oh my goodness, hours. Um, oh, like I thought my thigh wouldn't be too sore, but like damn, that was pretty close to how like my sternum felt. Like, oh, So yeah, five hours in, it kind of, he kind of finished, so like how it is now, it was like finished, so the other thing you had to do was add the detail, so I'll show you the picture that I was inspired off to do a bit of the detail from, so I'll insert that to look at, so that was going to take like another two hours, but I just couldn't handle it, so I just stopped there, <laughs> he said, you know, hit me up if I even want to finish it, but I've quite grown to love how it looks now, and it makes it more unique because I didn't finish it. I went to Fine Line Tattoos with Matt Wilson. He is an amazing tattooist. I shit you not, he is the best animal like tattooist ever. Like I <laughs> he made my wolf look so realistic. I you seen the picture. <laughs> like I would recommend him in a harpy. <sighs> Those are my latest tattoos. I matching ones. I went to Dissonant Art and went with Martha. For these I love her work. I love her floral Tattoos. I would also recommend her in a heartbeat. She is amazing. I have another tattoo booked with her at the, at the end of the month. I think it's the 28th or something. I can't wait. I'm getting something on my arm, my other bare arm. I am so excited for that. It's gonna be like another like floral, maybe a snake. Like, oh, I've always liked the idea of that. I was originally gonna get a snake on my back. But now there's just going to be something else on my back one day because I really want a spine tattoo. So my collarbones, they didn't hurt like at all really. Like it was kind of like the behind the ear thing, like didn't hurt. And my forearm, I think I forgot to mention my forearm, my forearm didn't really hurt as much either. So forearm, collarbones, behind the ear were my easiest tattoos. And my finger, sternum and thigh were my hardest. <laughs> There's always other ideas that I got going, like how I said my spine, and then like I want some ankle tattoos. I'm not too sure yet. Like I always had like a bunch of ideas. Like I do one day want like a sleeve. Kind of, I don't want a tattoo in there because I know that's gonna be painful. But like some sort of sleeve. I do have like in my notes. Like I got tattoo ideas, and I have like everything that kind of like would want to get. And so I'd get like animals on my arm. Some like wild animals, non-wild animals. I just love animals. Like that is my passion. Animals is my passion. And then there's like weird tattoo ideas I got that like, you know, I want small, like maybe like a paw print, just more animalistic type tattoos. And then there's like more flowers. I can just have flowers all over my body. Maybe a cactus, because I do like cactuses. Look, I got this cute little piece from the warehouse yesterday. Got cute little, well Henry actually got it for me, I liked it and he decided to buy it for me because I went and got other things in the room. So maybe one of those somewhere. I do plan to get more tattoos and oh another one, <laughs> how did I forget? I do really want like a hip tattoo of like flowers of course and maybe, I don't know. Just, I know I could go to Martha Distant Art and she'll whip me up something amazing. So maybe that will be one of my next tattoos, but I know that's gonna hurt so much. But focusing on this one, I should probably, I have to stick to like a tattoo a year just so I can save money for other things because apparently you need money for bills and other things. <laughs> but yeah, no, my probably a good way to finish this video because my camera's about to die. Just a nice, easy, little talkative video, you know, about more insight to what I'm into and what I am going to be doing and for piercings wise like I probably won't get any more because because I'm not as interested anymore I'll just stick with what I got and especially because work I can't really get more but yeah but <laughs> other than that I think dyeing my hair is also another thing that I want to do soon like as you can see my hair's almost outgrown the blonde and once I said that my hair was outgrown, outgrowing the blonde. I was gonna dye my hair either orange or silver. 
So maybe I should do a poll. Should I do orange or silver? <laughs> or maybe I should do orange and then wait till it fades and then do silver. I don't know, those are just colours I've always wanted to do because I've had blue hair in the past and purple which kind of turned to pink and I always used to dye my hair at home blonde and all that. But yeah, so that'd be interesting and yeah, I just suppose wrap this video up. I really hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> don't forget to like this video if you liked it or subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching. I'll see you next week for another video. Bye!